Okay. Hello, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Sorry, just for getting uh, a minute late, but uh, it is like uh, I have been having issues with the internet lately, and I don't know why. Kind of weird the, the 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 buttons. Just just give me one second. All right, but anyway, it's the good thing is that we are here, guys, and uh, ready to start with the class time and uh, discuss the contents that we are going to be, you know, like uh, showing tonight. So in order to do that, I am going to start with the attendance list. Okay, before starting with the class content. Okay, let's just start over. It's, uh, let me see, Carmen Eugenia. Carmen here. Oh, ah, yeah, she's here. Uh, Christian Alejandro. Okay, so not here yet. Daniel Arquimedes. Present. Okay, excellent. Edwin Alexander. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, yeah, you're there. Uh, Daisy Maricela. All right, so she's not here yet. Edwin Vladimir. Okay, so Edwin Vladimir is not here yet. Estela Mabel. Hmm. Okay, so she's not here yet. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, excellent. Fatima Lourdes. Okay, Fatima Lourdes is not here yet. Jaime Antonio. Okay, so he is not here. Eduardo Jose. Is Eduardo here? Okay, so he's not here. Carla Lisset. Here. Okay, excellent. Kenya Cecilia. Present. Okay, excellent. Um, let me see, Lorena Beatriz. Present. Okay, perfect. Manuel Antonio. Manuel, okay, Manuel is here. Maria Gabriela. Present. I'll be as a listener today, but tomorrow I, I'll be participating. Ah, okay. Thank you for telling me. Mm, let me see. Mary Raquel. Present. Ah, okay, excellent. Uh, Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, perfect. And the last one, Osvin Alexis. Present. Okay. Give me one second, guys. Mm -hmm. It's because I'm looking at this like very weird. I get double view. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Some is getting crazy sometimes. <laughs> and, then, and then the screen is like completely different now. Ah, but anyways, ah, but it's recording. Okay, guys. So let's start, you know, with the class time. And uh, before starting with uh, the things that we are going to be discussing tonight, I would like to bring a short recall about what we were doing last class. Okay, last class it was a little bit different because uh, it was like, you know, like more participation between you guys uh, as working in, 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 in groups and in pairs than me to you. So what do you guys remember from last class? Or at least what did you remember you were doing during the class? Please. Oh, this is we crazy. talk about the, the seven hours. We have a, a review. And um, we select three, three, three air. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe the, the most important for everyone. Okay, perfect. Okay, very good. So basically, we were working with that, right? With uh, the seven R's, which is part uh, of uh, a very good and center logistics, right? Okay, very good. There you go. So basically, we were working with that. You were giving your opinions about uh, the ones that you consider like the three that are like the most important ones. Okay, very good. Now, guys, I think the majority is in here. So what are we going to do? Listen, we're going to make things a little bit different tonight. Difference in what aspect? Check this out. If you go, guys, to the manual, specifically on page 19, on page 19 in your manual, you will find out a section that says building vocabulary. This vocabulary is also related to logistics. It's basically logistics terms. I'm going to show you. One second. I'm talking about this. I don't know if you can see. Can you see my screen, guys? Yep. Okay. Perfect. That's enough. This vocabulary it's basically related to logistics as well. All right. And it says match these terms related to logistics to their meanings. Listen. How are we going to do this? We are going to work in pairs at doing this okay without any previous knowledge about this vocabulary all right i want you to read carefully the definitions and the concepts that you have there okay i will send you to work in the breakout rooms and when we come back in here i will show you each term with its corresponding definition, okay? And in that way, we are going to identify how much we got from here and how many goods you got from this exercise, okay? Good, so that's what we are just going to do uh, like right now. But uh, I see that some of you got the listening part mm, in your name, let me see. Fatima Lourdes, are you still as a listener? Are you busy right now? Fatima, are you there? Okay, I guess she's as a listener right now. Christian, everything okay? You can participate, right? Uh, yes, teacher. Sorry for to be late. Okay, no problem. Uh, perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay, now, so basically that's what we are just going to do right now, okay? We're going to focus on that building vocabulary, 
I want you to read carefully, listen, read carefully the definitions, read the concepts, and then try to match, discuss that with your partner, try to match them with the corresponding definitions, and then we're gonna come back in here, okay? We will do that for a couple of minutes. So just give me a second, guys. Since you're just, there are a lot of people who's missing, I am going to assign you manually. And I am going to assign some people that are as listeners. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Second, I'm just doing the assignments. Okay, perfect. So here you got the assignments. I set to enter to the breakout rooms, guys, and let's go to work. Oh, what's being is new here? Let me see. Yes, you can. <laughs> okay. Yes, I have a problem with my connection. Ah, okay, okay. Try to accept uh, to enter to the breakout room. So let's see if you don't have any problem. Give me one second. Mm. Okay. Do it, sir. Let me see everything. Okay, perfect. Uh, teacher, which page we have to do? Page ah, 19, the, maybe. Yes, the page 19, the vocabulary that is there. But it says the exercise six, building vocabulary. What you're going okay. to do is just to read the information mm -hmm. that you got there and try to match, right? Discuss that with Stella, which one is like the, the, okay. the most appropriate one. And then when we come back to the main section, I will show you guys each definition with its concept so you can check what you did, okay? Okay, thank you. Uh, it's gonna page nine. Exactly, it's going uh -huh. to be page 19. That's page 23, uh, Daniel. <laughs> Uh, okay, I feel confused <laughs> because, because you say to match the the, the uh -huh, yeah. exactly no, but 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 in the cases in the, the prior page nineteen. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. I wish I can. Let me see. We nineteen. Yeah, one. that one, that, uh -huh. that part is the one. Okay, let's let's do that one. Put the corresponding number in in each parenthesis in there. Read carefully. Try to discuss which one might be the most appropriate to you. You know, like the concept. Mm -hmm. Come back in, uh, in into the main section. I will show you guys the concept and the definition. Okay, so you can check what you did. Okay. There you Thank go. you. Thank you. Uh, it can be distributed. Um, I, I think the first maybe is push. Help us, please. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Teacher. Sí. 
<laughs> but wait, okay. As, as, Teacher, as we said, said in Spanish. Huh? Ah, come on. In, how in Spanish? Okay, now listen. Listen. What you're going to do is uh, I want you to go to page 19 on your manual, okay? In there, you can find mm -hmm. the exercise six where it says building vocabulary. In there, mm -hmm. you have seven concepts, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, starting with logistics and finishing with supply chain. I want, guys, you to put those numbers from each concept to the parentheses that are in the middle. I want you to read carefully the concepts for each definition, okay? And the definition as well, and try to, uh, you know, like match which one belongs uh, to which one in there, okay? That's what you're going to do. Okay. If you find logistics there, uh, what is the definition for logistics? Is there, okay? Okay. Okay. Got to discuss, all right? Because both of you have to have that's the same one. Okay, number three. <clears throat> number three. It says provides protection against all risks of physical loss or damage to freight. Mm, um, maybe. The one that says freight claim. <laughs> number number three. Let me see it. Guys, what are you in? Uh, what page are you working on? Number 20. Page 20? Yes. No, guys, that was page 19. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you guys, it's page 19. Exercise C. I'm sorry, I didn't get you. <laughs> okay. We're doing no, you're doing the exercises oh my for, God. You're, you're doing the exercises for tomorrow, guys. <laughs> oh. Spend time no. with me. <laughs> And thanks for having him on time. No, but it was my it was my fault. No, exactly. No, no, no. Okay, no, but I, but 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 relax. Uh, you have it, you know, like in advance for tomorrow. No, uh, go to exercise uh, okay. six from page nineteen, where it says building vocabulary. 19. Okay. Where it says match this yeah. term related to the logistics to their meanings. The, where there are uh, seven okay. con concepts: logistics, supplies, until supply chain. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, that rings a bell. <laughs> read the concepts carefully and read the definitions and try to match them, okay? Okay. There you go. <laughs> now, and I was like, <laughs> those terms are here. Hey, I, I don't know those terms yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um. We're, we're advanced. <laughs> Okay. Okay. The pro procurement, the process of keeping something in a good condition, <clears throat> and the amount of the process of keeping something in good conditions. Mm. Mm. Because the process of keeping something in a good condition, I think, is my time. Like the number five, maintenance. Ah, uh, yeah, my maintenance. I'm not sure. Perfect supply goes to goods to stores and other business that sells to common. Create a mass different common producing products. In something in good condition. Maybe maintenance is the process of keeping something in good condition. Yes. Yeah. Maintenance. Yes. Maintenance. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
Which one? Meaning in the same company, right? No? You mean in the same company? It's it's um uh, buy and sell, I think, or uh -huh. move uh, out or or move the product into the into the location, and when you distribute distribute something, you you only or just sell. I think. Do you understand? <laughs> okay. Uh, distribution is about um, or order or um, send or whatever, uh, but is the product out? This is my point. I, I think that I don't know, but if you uh, have an action uh, uh, where the product uh, into and out is free. The I don't know. Be many people, but still this or supply. Uh -huh. What do you think about this? To supply. Uh -huh. I think that yes, to supply. Number. So, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, this is maintenance, I think. I, no, maybe procurement. Um, the, the network creator um, 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 most, um, most different companies product, production and distributing products. Supply chain. Then the ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of a company's location. The number six, inventory management. Inventory management. And next, the coordination of operation involving many people facilities for supplies. This is one logics logis, logistics. Yes. The process of keeping something in good conditions. Maintain. Maintenance. Number three. Yes, the concept number three. Supply. Yes. Suministro supply. Yes. Three is two. <laughs> two is three. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe inventory management because it's a it, ah it, yeah it could be it's right for, it's for keeping something yeah okay number so number six is number six <laughs> Yeah, right. You said that. Mm -hmm. Or wait, it says the act of obtaining or buying goods and service. Yeah, I think. Yes, number six. Okay. And the amount of a good or service offered for sale? Supplies, right? Yes, for me, supplies. supplies. Okay. So what's what's missing? Number three, right? Procurement. I think it's missing. Yeah. 
Okay, it could be. So number three is number one. Yeah. <laughs> I think we got it. So yeah. we have uh, in order. The first one is number three, then seven, then four, then one, then yeah. five, six, and two. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> Ready? Let's check again. Uh, yeah. Ready, guys? Yeah, we're ready. Thanks. Okay, so yeah. I just, uh, I'll just go and check <laughs> one more group then, and we're going to go back to the main section, okay? Okay. Nice. Okay, thanks. It's the third one. Because it says that you can move, you move the, your products in your own company. In your own location and inventory management is like when you cuando manejas el, inven, el inventario es lo que entiendo Entonces, mm -hmm. i think that the third yeah. one could be inventory management and mm -hmm. okay i check on this Uh, the last one, the amount of a good service or a good or service offered for sale. This maybe. It sounds like it sounds more like a uh, more like soup, please. And the inventory management. Okay. Everything okay, guys? You finished? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we finished. finished. Okay, cool. Now, let's go back then. Okay. Okay, did everybody finish? I guess everybody finished, right, guys? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Okay. Now, guys, what I'm going to do is just I want you to check what you did with your classmate. And I'm going to show you a short presentation. Give me a second. Oops, you may say, what happened? Oh, this is not the one. Give me one second. Ah, this. Okay, so what you have been basically doing, guys, it's just a review vocabulary related to the seven R's, okay? And remember that all this, it's basically part of what? Out of a logistics uh, uh, component, right? So let's go into this. The first time that you were discussing, it was the term logistics, okay? Uh, Lorena, what did you have in that one? with your classmate. The one in the um, we we work when uh, I work with uh, Kenya. Aha. Uh -huh. And what did you you choose in here as logistics? The concept. Um the coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities or supplies. Okay, very good. Yes, that's the correct one. Okay, so if everybody had that one, yeah, it is correct. So let's remember that basically logistics is just the coordination, right, of an operation involving many people, facilities, or 
oops, it's missing something, supplies, right? It's include everything. It's basically the tracking of everything, right? Everything coordinated. Okay, perfect. So basically, this is what logistic is. Remember, if you want something to be done in a very correct way, you have to have a, a previous plan, something called logistics, right? What you're going to do in the process, uh, how many people are going to be involved in that process, okay? And everything, all related to that. Okay, perfect. Now, the next one, supplies, Edwin Vladimir. What you and your classmate decide to, to set in here as supplies? Hey, I'm not sure, teacher, because in that moment I had issues in my connection. So uh, I don't want to, to guess because maybe <laughs> I'm wrong. Okay, but, but, uh, but I you're... think Carla and Osmin. Ah, you work with Carla and Osmin. They should. Ah, yes, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, Carla, what did you choose in here? Okay. Um. Wait. We chose the amount of a good or service offered for sale. Okay. Let's check. Okay. Very good. Yeah, that's what it is. The amount of a good or service offered for sale. All right. In terms, guys, what is supplies? What is the word supply? What do you think is supply? In Spanish or? Yeah, yeah in Spanish. How do you understand by supply? Maybe. Exactly. Exactly, that's what it is, suministro, right? In other words, the product that you are selling, right? Or that you're transporting or you're doing whatever you're doing. Okay, perfect. So that is supplies. Now let's move. What about this one, procurement? That's the pronunciation of this word, procurement. Okay. Probably for some of you guys, this word, it's like uh, new. But uh, in terms of logistics, it's not that new. Uh, Fati Martiga, what did you choose in here as procure? Uh, okay, wait. Procurement, the act of obtaining or buying goods and service. I don't know. Probably make. Okay, and what is procurement? Like, like the word, what is that? Sí. Ah, procurement. Um, in Spanish, like obtención. Exactly. Obtención. To obtain something, right? La obtención de algo, uh -huh. obtener algo. Okay, very good. So in here, what do we have about procurement? What you had in there. The act of obtaining or buying goods and service. That is procurement. Yes. Very good. You're going good. Now let's move with the other ones. Distribution. Okay, and here I think it's like a little bit easier in comparison to the other ones. Uh, and this one, Estela, what do you have in this one? Distribution. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of in this, in this world. Okay, I I have a, the idea that uh -huh. distribution is to uh, put the product or or send the product or um, uh, repartir. I forgot the word. The Red product the in in another places. Uh -huh. okay. For example, if if I if I have a product, uh, um, uh, ice cream, 
Uh -huh. uh, I produce it and I have a lot of uh, clients in a store to, to distribute, distribute uh, my ice cream. Uh -huh. This is my idea. <laughs> Ah, okay. Very good. So basically, that, that you have an idea about what is a distribution, distribution. But uh, the concept that you chose with uh, Christian, what was it? The one that is in the book, in, in the manual. Christian, what was it? The Help one. Estella. <laughs> um, process of supplying goods to a store and other business that sell to consumers. Okay, very good. Yeah, you got it correct. That's basically distribution. Okay, and I guess everybody got that one, right? Okay, very good. So basically distribution is the process, right, of supplying uh, as part of what um, Estela was saying, goods and services to stores, right, and other businesses, okay, that the main function of these businesses are what? to sell the products to the final consumer, right? That's the main function. Okay. What about maintenance? This one is pretty easy as well, right, Mary? What do you have in this one? Um, is the process of keeping something in good condition? Oh, okay, very good. The process of um, keeping something in good conditions. Okay, very good. That's what you got there and that's what it is. Okay, very good. It, it talks about not only the product, right? But also the trucks in which uh, this product is moved from one place to another and all the materials that are included in the process, right? Okay, so that inquires the word maintenance. Okay, very good. Inventory management. Kenya, could you help me out reading the definition that you have there and that you chose? Okay. Inventory management. The ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of a company location. Okay, very good. Thank you, Kenya. Yes, basically that's what it is. Inventory management basically refers to what? It refers to the process of selecting and moving in and out, basically the product of a company. So basically it's the organization, right? Especially that this is done in the warehouse of the company, right? In which the product is stored. So in there, you can have a very good inventory management. This is like the process how you basically organize the product into the company or out of the company. Okay, very good, guys. And what about this one? Supply chain, Oswin? Line chains. Yes, sir. Yes. It's the network created among different companies producing and distribution distributing products. Okay, very good. Thank you, Swin. It says supply chain, the network created among different companies producing and distributing products. Okay, good. Very good. So as the word says, supply chain, cadena de suministros, right? So basically that's what it is. Okay, perfect. And I think we got another, no, we had another one. Now we don't have that one. Okay, guys, now once that we have done this, let's talk a little bit about inbound logistics and outbound logistics. Have you ever heard this term before? Have you ever heard in the past about inbound logistics and outbound logistics? 
Nope. In my in my company, we have uh, some people that they work uh, directly with the customers. Ah. And with the, the name that we have for the people is in-house. In-house? Like, yes, in-house, but in this case, it's like a, a outbound. And in this case, because it's the... It's like a relation with with the the customer with our company. <laughs> okay, very good. Yes, it's basically what it is. Okay, thank you, Noemi. So take a look at this, guys. This is the terms you got it in the manual there. It says inbound logistics. Daisy, help me out reading, please. Inbound. Logistic concerns the relationship between companies and their suppliers. Okay, very good. It says inbound logistic concerns to the relationship between companies and their suppliers. Okay, good. For example, in this case, when it talks about the relationship between companies and their suppliers, what do you think are they talking about in this case, guys? For example, let's talk about what? Any company in a specific? Mm, super Selectos. What might be a supplier of Super Selectos? One of the, the, the amount of suppliers that Super Selectos has. Um, can you mention one or oh, yeah. have any idea of one supplier of super selectors? Maybe La Constancia. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And what would, what is what do you think might be the relationship between La Constancia and Super Selectors? Any idea? Any opinion about that? How do you think the process might be? Who hasn't participated that much? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Mary, any idea, Mary? Okay, so Mary's not there, I guess. Uh, Lorena. Let's suppose, Lorena, I am the representative of uh, La Constancia, as Noemi says, and you are the representative of Super Selectos. In order for me to offer your uh, to offer you my product, how would you get close to me? What will be the first thing that you that you will tell me? Um, um, the first yeah, question, do you uh, who do you entregar me? Deliver? Oh, oh. Deliver? Deliver your product in my in my warehouse. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Good. And what are you going to take in consideration or into account if I am going to deliver my product into your warehouse? Or your, you know, like what your facilities. The first yeah. thing I think is the price of the product. How much uh -huh. product do you want? And where do you want the product? That if you're going to pay extra money for the delivery, okay? And all those aspects, okay? 
So all that inquires into an inbound logistics. That's why it is a relationship between companies and their suppliers, right? They have to be constantly communicating each other because remember, nowadays prices can go up or go down, mostly going up, right? Because of the inflection, you know, I mean, prices are going to increase. So in that case, they had to be constantly in communication, right? So for the product to be delivered every a certain amount of time, probably one day a week or two days a week, depending on, on the place, if it is a huge place or if it is in a small place where the facility is in that case, right? So that's why it's really important to have that communication between companies and the suppliers. What about the outbound logistics? This is a little bit different. Edwin, help me on reading, please. Okay. Uh, deals with how companies get product to their customers. Okay, very good. Thank you, sir. It says outbound logistics deals with how companies get product to their customers. How do you understand this, Edwin Vladimir? Well, I got an idea and uh, I think the main word here is how. So it means mm -hmm. uh, it's a how the company gets product. So I think it's the process to the company how to follow to get the, the products to their customers. So I think maybe the distribution channel that they could use. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Edwin. Daniel, any other idea or opinion about it? I really know, but how logistics teach the other form, I think is when the when the company is uh, the making <laughs> like someone like Maria with the customer, the form, the form. Uh, let me see. Um, very seriously, when they have a a deal, mm -hmm. uh, it's very very formal. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I, I don't have I don't have the words how to say, but in Spanish I think cuando uh, hace sus contratos de forma de muy formal, I don't know. Okay, when you make in that case the, the contracts when they do very formal contracts. Yeah. Mm, okay, makes sense. Okay, there you go. Uh, the last, thank you, Daniel. The last participation in this, Mary, what, what's your opinion about it? Teacher, I'm not clear because there are some uh, meanings with relation in trade marketing. <laughs> and I'm uh -huh. going stay with that. Uh -huh. um, but in logistics, um, the inbound logistics um mm -hmm. i think is um maybe maybe it's a it's a um i don't know what do you say oh business between between uh um empresarios this man Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but at the end, Mary, it says uh, customers. What about this uh, stores like like the ones that we were mentioning, like Walmart, like uh, three, like uh, 
despensa familiar, for example. If you uh, have or, or set this inbound logistics applied there, would you change your mind in that case? Mary, because in here, Mary, is it's just uh, it's just uh, like the deal, right? It deals mean like you know, like I have contact with how companies. It says get products to their customers. It's like the process of obtention of uh, the product for the customers. How do they yeah. do that? Right. Okay. Okay. So in, and at the end. All right, you just go to those stores, right? Where everything is well located there, just to grab what you need and just pay it, right? Mm -hmm. And have that visit okay. with the company or the facility. Okay. So That's in this case, uh, inbound logistics is a, a, a big, a big uh, relationships between the companies. It's exactly, because in there is between, you know, like companies. The one that, ah, that, okay. that supplies, in, in, uh, the one that the supplies the product, the customer. exactly, and the main uh, company, okay? And then okay. the outbound logistics is basically the relationship that exists between basically the company itself and the customers in this case, right? So one is like kind of bigger than the other one, right? Because one is the company with the supplier, the one who, you know, like sell the product to the company and then the company with the customer, okay? Which is different. Teacher, some, some example is uh, like a Siman with Tommy, maybe. Exactly. Or... Tommy might be what? The supplier or, or the company? Tommy is supplier, I think. Is Iman and Siman okay. is uh, the company. Exactly. So then Siman, what does Siman do? Ah, but in a in a, in a display, okay, the products from Tommy, as you said, and then you go to Siman and buy the product. Right? So in that case, that's the outbound logistics refers to, okay, because Siman got everything from Tommy, right? and uh, do all the process of logistics to put the product in their stores for you go and see the displays of that product and you just go and sell, right? So basically that's the process. Inbound relationship between two big companies, company suppliers, and the outbound deals how companies get that product and put you there in the facilities for you just go and buy the product as a final consumer. Okay. So let's remember that's 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 the process. Okay. Okay, good. So now let's go back to the manual, guys. In the manual, you will find exactly what I was showing in here. Okay, about the inbound and outbound uh, logistics. And in there, guys, you will find a chart and a small chart. This chart in here. Okay, this is what we were just discussing about. Okay, the inbound and outbound. Now, but we have this chart of suppliers, it says. You have the word suppliers in here, and then you have the word customers in here. And then in here, you got a series of vocabulary, like customer service, warehouse, transport, production planning, and we got purchasing. What do I want from you guys in here? Okay, easy. I want you to set this vocabulary that we have in here to set it in here, in here, to the process, okay? From the inbound logistics to the outbound logistics. What goes in each stage in here, okay? Since the supplier form until the customer form, okay? You guys, please put me this 
vocabulary in the boxes in here. And for you to make it easier, so you can discuss the possible, uh, you know, like vocabulary here, I will maintain and I will keep the same groups. Go and check them. I will give you, what, four minutes for you guys to do this, okay? And then we're gonna come back again here and check. Let's go, guys. Oh my God, it's been it's only the last one. You were in number five. Uh, Stella, are you there? No, okay. So. No problem. I do. Okay. Uh, you have the page? Yes. Okay. It's 19. Yes. How can logistic deal with how company to the customer? Mm -hmm. okay. um, supplies is uh, the start the business, I think, in bound logistics. After that, what is how after the transport producing planning purchasing? Uh -huh. okay. so you, what do you think? The suppliers, the inbound. Wait. For, for me, go for the product production planning. Mm. But I don't know. Production planning. Yeah. No, no, customer service, I think, is the first one. Because you need. For the production. Okay. Or or maybe in production production planning first, and uh, then sure. buy the things. Teacher, just a question. Uh -huh. In in box maybe um, we uh, we use uh, a definition. May it can be more than one. Yes, it will be more than one because there are more than than three concepts in there. You have to okay. set them all in there. Customer service, warehouse, transport, pro, uh, production, man, manage, man, uh, production planning, actually, and purchasing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, very good. It's two and two. For all of them. Warehouse. 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 The next. Yeah. Materia prima. Purchasing. Maybe I think. Uh, it refers to the final product purchasing. Purchasing. Purchase, purchasing. Company and for use. for the customers. For the company. Uh, okay. Where are you placing purchasing? Sorry, teacher. Where are you placing purchasing? Uh, I think it, it's in the uh, third space. The third space, yeah. where it's basically the outbound logistics. Yes, Why? I think purchasing is, is is when when a customer buy at the store the final product. No. Mm. 
I think not, for not sure actually, it's the second. Not, not actually. If it, Take a look at that. Who's the one? Who's the one who make a big purchase? Uh, the warehouse. Huh? The warehouse makes the. So the the company uh -huh. make the the purchasing. And for, uh, 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 and who uh, does uh, the who does the company make the big purchase to? The producer. The producer in this case is, is what? According to what we are discussing. In, in this case, uh... The producer is a warehouse to the supplier. Oh, okay, okay. The supplier. Okay. So now you have an idea where to to, to place that work. Uh, I just can't tell you that it, it doesn't go to the to the out. If uh, if we put them in the second place for checking, I think the purchase. Why? But what's the first thing that a company do with the supplier? If if the company produce produce produce. Okay, let, let, let's put this a scenario, Daisy. Let's suppose I have a, a, a small supermarket, okay? And I want mm -hmm. to buy cheese because I want to sell cheese. And you have, you are mm -hmm. a supplier of cheese. And I contact you, hey, Daisy, you know, I, I heard that you have a good company with good products uh, related to, to cheeses. And I want, and I want, your cheese for my customers. What's the price of the cheese that you have, Daisy? So you may tell me, ah, uh, it's uh, five dollars a, a pound, for example. And I tell you, ah, okay, Daisy, I need one hundred pounds for my local supermarket. So what am I doing in that case, Daisy? And Edwin? Mm. I am? I am doing what? Daisy, um, I am buying, I am purchasing. <laughs> I am purchasing your product. I am buying your product. That's the uh -huh. first thing I do. So? Um <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, the, 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 in the the free space, I okay. I I see the first space like a supplier. Mm -hmm. The space uh, like a a company or or warehouse maybe. And the third space is a customer. Ah, uh ah, -huh. uh -huh. customer what? So, uh, uh, the the purchasing. In the third one is the purchasing. No. And the third, for me, is a customer. Okay, the customer. Y hay otra más que le va a agregar ahí. There's one more that you can add in there. Because remember, remember that it says that basically in this case, 
an outbound, because that's part of an outbound logistic now, is what? What is an outbound? It's it's basically how companies get products to their customers. In this case, how the cheese is going to uh, get to my supermarket. Using what? Transportation. Exactly. Exactly. So what would you put in the middle? In the middle, purchasing and transportation. No, because you have transportation already. You put transportation already, number three. And I can tell you, I just can tell you that purchasing it goes in the first box box one because okay. it's the process of buying to the supplier okay 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 discuss that with uh in in, in, in production planning isn't the first box too why no eso es lo que quiero que discuta con ella con Daisy where would you put production planning Okay, I will give you a, a couple of extra time. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have finished. You have finished? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and can you tell me, guys, your options in the first box? Okay, wait, <laughs> as it is inbound logistics, we choose uh, purchasing and production planning. Give me one second, I got lost. Uh, in the first one you have? We have purchasing uh -huh. and production planning. Production planning. Why the production mm -hmm. planning? You have it in the first one. Um, um I don't know. Maybe it's one of the first steps, maybe. But, I, you know, thinking about it, I think it's in the second box. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> what does a company offers in order, when they buy the product, where do they, yeah. uh, where do they put the product? Excuse, sorry, what did you say? I just... Okay, for example, I suppose I am planning to sell uh, cheese next week in my supermarket, okay? Mm -hmm. And you are my provider. So I tell you, hey, Carla, I need 100 pounds of cheese uh, tomorrow, okay? But I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put that cheese next week to to the supermarket so where do i uh, where do i have to store my cheese first um in your supermarket <laughs> or what in in not small exactly stores or... okay it might be it might be in the supermarket but but... in my store but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's remember the the the, the cheese. Uh, I am going to sell it next week. So this time, where the cheese is going to be? Um, you're going to sell it next week. Huh? Maybe it is press in process or what? <laughs> oh, with it. I mean, it is it has to be with me, right? Because I'm the provide provider. But you tell me, hey, I can deliver it to you tomorrow, okay? I don't know where are you going to put the cheese, but I'm going to deliver it. Oh, uh, the warehouse. Tomorrow. 
Exactly. Isn't it we have? So the company offers the purchasing and warehouse. Okay. <laughs> okay. So okay. warehouse. Just where to and put the, the other one. Yeah. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, And the third. Um, warehouse and customer warehouse. service. Uh -huh. Maybe, teacher. What's that? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you finished now? I think it could be. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Okay. Why don't we go and The idea change? is that. Okay, all right, that's that's the most important part. The idea, the idea is there. All right, good. Why don't we go and check what you got and what you got, people? Okay, let's check. Let's go to the main section. Okay. Nice. Okay. Hello guys, <laughs> you're done. Okay, I guess uh, everybody finished. Okay, everybody did the, the exercise, but now let's try to check what you have there. Okay, uh, no, 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 I'm gonna share. Give me a second. I always get lost this. No, it is opening. Give me one second. Okay, it's this one. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, what do we have here? Remember, and taking in consideration that this area it's the supplier's area and, or in other words, the inbound logistic. Now we know that an inbound logistic is basically the process of communication that a company has with the supplier, right? In other words, they are making a deal about the product. Okay, good. In this case, guys, if I am uh, making business and if I am, you, you know, in, on business with a supplier chain, what do I offer as my company here? What do you have in the first box? And this is for general. What do you guys have here in the first box? Can be warehouse. Why warehouse? Okay, because the the the, the description says that concern the relationship between companies and their suppliers. Uh, warehouse in 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 some classes before. We're talking about warehouses. Uh, they have a relationship with other sellers and take some supplies, I think, uh, from other sellers to 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 produce to do the, the the production plan. I don't know. Ah, okay. Who agrees with Eduardo? that in this case, in the first uh, box, we can set the warehouse. Who agrees? Me? Carla, besides Carla, who else? Nobody else? <laughs> I, I look at you guys and you're like, 
thinking too much on this. Listen, guys. Let's remember, when a company acquires products from their suppliers, not all the product is going to be exactly to the market, to the final consumer. Why? Because when companies acquire products, they buy in bulk, in big quantities, okay? So if they buy, in this case, in big quantities, so in this case, what do they do with the product? They store the product, okay? And where do these companies store the product? In the warehouse, okay? So they keep it in the warehouse, all right? So in this case, the warehouse is correct in here, in the first box, okay? A warehouse. Besides the warehouse, Mary, what else do you think I can set in here? Mm. Maybe. Purchasing. Why purchasing? Um, because, well, I, I'm not clear about um, the activity. I don't know is the process to uh, production and, 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 and buy after that uh, for produce or is when you have the product ready? Because if you have the pro the, the product ready, you you, you only purchase the product for to keep on the warehouse for the uh, needed of the people. Mm, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, let me explain this part. In this case, what you're saying is correct. And in here, the other word is purchasing. Why? Because in this case, since you have a deal with, with whom? In this case, with the supplier, what you do is just buy the product, purchase the product, okay, to the suppliers, and then you can store that product in the warehouse, okay? So in that case, if there is any of your facilities, if your supermarket or whatever you, you are dealing with is huge, it has different facilities, different like uh, sucursales, you know, instalaciones, so you can send the product, okay, to those facilities from the warehouse, from the main warehouse. So in that process, what is what goes in the second box, Christian? Uh, maybe it's the production planning. Why production planning? Because if you have, if you purchase in the product, you now you have to plan it how the products can be um, can be do it in different times, or how the product can be obtained in different times. Okay, very good. Thank you, Christian. Yes, actually in here, it goes production planning, all right? Because it's part of the process just to get the product to the final consumer. So in this case, it enters the inbound logistics. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I am I'm, I'm confusing for, because I don't know if the process when the, when product is ready mm -hmm. because you you have to mix um some definitions uh, like production planning and for me production planner planning is when you don't have already uh ready your product uh -huh. it's after all the process to logistics but it's the confusing for me <laughs> In because here, in is here is basically in here is basically when you have your products in the warehouse, the production planning is like how you are going to distribute this production 
that you have, this product that you have into the different facilities that you have. Okay, but it's only uh, the product uh, out of the factory. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Good. Now, the outbound form. So in here, what goes in here? In this case, um, mm -hmm. let me see. Noemi, what are the words that I'm going to set in here? Um, a transport. Transport? Yes. And? Um, maybe, maybe customer service. Maybe. Why customer service? What do you think is customer service? Is when you um uh, I don't know how they say uh, give uh attendance to the to the clients maybe is um okay with Mary we have a different opinion because it's different in my case I saw different a process uh -huh. <laughs> for example for me uh, I don't know uh, but in the first one can be purchasing mm -hmm. after production planning um, maybe after transport uh -huh. maybe the, after warehouse in this case warehouse uh, but by the client, no warehouse for the supplier. It's, it's a little confused because you can... You can have it from, uh, from different, uh, from different uh, you know, like situations depending on the company. Sometimes it depends yes. on the company. The processes might yes. change. Yes, and in this case, I have the, this, this, uh, this confusion. Mm -hmm. about it because because we we work with different companies and they have different process for for distributing their 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 products their product, yes or services in this case exactly. some people uh, have a following customer service for mm -hmm. after to the deliver the product if the product is good, if they're fine, or different kinds, or in another, in another, but, in another situation, customer service is the first, is the first process because it's when the the vendor call the client and different. Uh -huh. But in this case, like this, is transport mm -hmm. and customer service. Like, like the process of transporting the and then into the customer service. Remember, basically customer service is like at the end, how you in the store deal with the customers, all right? How you explain your product to the customer. Obviously, if it is not something related to, the, to, the, to a supermarket, right? Because in a supermarket, you just go and buy the product that you need, and that's it. But if you go to places like uh, what? To EPA, for example, and you want to buy something, but there are uh, people in there that explain how to use the, the, the product that you want to buy, or probably, uh, you know, that product have catched your attention. So they are there, there just to help you how to use the product or how the product is managed, right? So that includes in there customer service, right? When you have issues, when you have doubts about that. Uh, Fatima, want to share, share something? I, I have the same uh, question about the customer service because if you sell service, not a product, Service, uh, not tangible. How do you say it's not tangible? Intangible. Uh huh. 
So if you sell service, in my case, I work in UPS. Mm -hmm. We sell service. Huh. So I work in customer experience, but I'm the first uh, step maybe, well, after the, um, after the, the vendor explain to the customer what the service that I'm going to sell to you for the use. I'm not explaining to the customer how to use the, the service because the, the commercial uh, personnel is the, the one that explained to the customer that I'm yeah, right, exactly. just following the steps yeah. after the, all, all the process. I don't know, I think. I'm, I'm a little bit confused because okay, that's the we way how, do that's the way how you work. Uh -huh. You explain about product, but in my case, we sell uh -huh. service, it, not product. It, it, exactly. So in that case, that's a, that's a little bit different, right? Because in your case, it's a service. So in that case, you and the customers, right? If I'm not mistaken, get in contact. So in that case, you have a, that mm -hmm. kind of communication between you and the customer, right? Yeah, we have the, the communication maybe in the middle of, of the all this, the warehouse, the transport. We have this communication in that middle of, of the process. Exactly. No, in, in this case, customer service, it can be all over the process as well. And let me tell you why. Because, for example, if you, if you got a final product, for example, in this case, Let's suppose if you're in the customer service area and I have problems with a product and I have a complaint about that, who do I have to call to? Uh, probably I'm going to call you for a, yeah. a, an explanation, right, of, of, of why the product probably is my functioning. Why do I have these issues with the product, okay, and everything. So that, I mean, includes as customer service, even though you have delivered the product to the final consumer. So basically yeah. customer service is in all the steps. I mean, all the steps. But as I said, okay. it depends on what, Fatima? It depends on the kinds of products or the kinds of service that you are providing or you are selling. All right, let's remember that different, I mean, the companies are different. They sell their logistics um, forms very different among them. So not all the companies are going to be like set the same, uh, you know, like uh, steps for, and since the uh, outbound to the inbound form or vice versa. So they just changed the way how they do it as, uh, who was it? Noemi was saying, right? And you at the end no. of the day. And that's okay. why you and Mary sometimes you get a little bit confusing on this case because it says, ah, ah, but I've been working in this way, right? But the other one it says, ah, but I've been working in this other way. So I got confused with this. So in that case, it's like the processes are different, right? And the process, every process depends on the kind of company that you're working for and the service or product that you are, in this case, providing, all right? That's what do I really want you guys to get clear with this, okay? It will depend on the process that your company have with the suppliers in this case, right? It will vary, okay? In this case, the process. All right, there you go. So, so this is like the way how got it in this case, at least the process that we got in here, right? Very good. So now, guys, we're going to step up from here and we're going to make a short activity with this. Now, we have now the concepts of what the seven hours are. Now we have the concepts of the, about this, about what is an inbound logistic, what is an outbound logistics and everything, what is a final consumer, what is the process for getting a product to the final consumer, and everything. What are we going to do now, guys? 
listen. Ah, we're gonna be creative now, but I want to know who's participant now and who I can count with. Let me see, because most of you got the cameras up, guys. Carmen Eugenia is just as a listener; she won't participate. Uh, Fatima Lourdes, Fatima, at the end, are you uh, still working and you cannot participate? Okay, so she didn't answer. Um, Maria said that she's not participating today. Okay, guys, what are we going to do? Listen up. I want to choose, listen, I want to choose one of the main, it can be supermarket, it can be any business in the country. I want to choose, I want you to choose one, okay? Choose one. And you guys are going to be the representatives of that business okay and you're basically are going to buy product for that business to be sold i want you to discuss with the people i'm going to send you to work how listen how would you buy the product how would you get the product and how this product will be transported and delivered to the final consumer, okay? I want you to explain to me all that process that you're going to do, okay? From purchasing the product to the people in that case, to the suppliers, and how will you get to the final consumer that process, okay? But I want you to choose one specific business, any name. It can be a supermarket, it can be any, you know, like, well recognized the store, okay? Whatever business you wanna choose, choose one and explain the process of buying a product to the supplier to the final consumer, okay? Any question about what we're going to do? Only uh, one product or is the, uh, or the company with, with select? Listen. Depending on the company that you will select, you can choose more than one product, okay? As well as the product is being delivered like in the same way with the same transportation and everything, it's not for you to be like too much extended or too complicated. You can choose one product, one specific product if you want, okay? But I want all the process, of course, okay? How would you do it? Any other question? No? Okay. Give me one second. I'm going to reorganize these breakout rooms. Because now we're going to be more people. Oops. Ah, all of these are so listening. Okay, accept to enter to the breakout rooms, guys. Hello. Hello. Who is with me here? <laughs> uh, this. Give me. Give me one second. I'm gonna resend the request to you. Okay. Check it now. Good. Okay. Perfect. Good morning. 
progress. Okay, so we could think about, I don't know, it could be a shoe store or <laughs> something like that because supermarket is, oh, maybe we could, we could select supermarket, but it's, you know, it has a lot of products. So maybe we could choose a, a business with only one product. So it could be a little bit <laughs> easier. Right. Or like a bookstore? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> um, mm. But we have, yeah, we have, we have, we could say that we have a product, but maybe we will need um more. I think. You know, yes. Daniel. Very good yeah. the process. <laughs> I know, but, but yes, but the other idea is gonna be okay. But okay. the coffee and clothes, I agree with you. They see a coffee. Tell me what you think. What do you think, Stella and Fatima? What kind of business would you like to do? Uh, I just listen to the coffee, sorry. The other one I don't I don't listen to you. Okay. But for me, okay, whatever that you yeah. for me, for me, it's too. For me too. Good clothes. Clothes too. Okay. It's a process for Yes. In this case, uh, uh, the order, the the purchase order, sent by email to the producer in in another country. Normally is in is in in China in different uh, fabric that they have. Um, after they produce the product, like 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 we want, for example, uh, different products have the logo, the logo of the company, and is necessary to the. The produce um, have the have this logo. After the production, um, they dispatch around forty days, maybe, uh, and they dispatch in a in a chip in a chip um, for the transport company. Um, around two months, two months, the, uh, the product, the months. product arrived to El Salvador. Uh, to see two months, sixty days around maybe. Um, and after we have the the do the process in the, as you know, it it can be books from the, from teachers maybe who a student can buy it or a school can buy it. Actually, I, I was working in like a graphic designer with with a freelance and some of his clients are teacher. They made the, the books. So the teacher can be a supplier for our stores. But we have to choose a for example, if we, we if we choose a bookstore, it has to be a uh, a bookstore that we know. Like for example, yeah. I I don't know. I'm gonna investigate. Famous bookstores. But maybe we can choose another store. Okay. Like like Bimbo. Uh, Bimbo. Yeah. Bimbo. It could be. It could be easier. But that. It's kind of a supplier. I mean, it's uh -huh, it's a supplier. So Bimbo, I don't, I'm not really sure, but I think that they have factories. So they, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think that they don't have to, to buy. I mean, because they kind of make the, the bread that they sell. So you know what, you know what, you, you know what? who, can, you know who can help you out with that. Edwin. Edwin works there. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I say Bimbo because of him, but I know Bimbo is a company who 
who produce your your bread, but they suppliers they distribute. They, uh, distribute. They, they distribute their products uh, in that case. Uh, uh, they distribute yeah. his product to another company. It's like super selective. They have products for, of of them. Uh, okay, we can we can choose that. Okay, so I think Bimbo it's easier. <laughs> yes, but um, Bimbo have a supplier too. Oh, ah, really? Okay, cool. Supply nice. for what? <laughs> uh, maybe the... The floor and... Uh -huh. Flour. Yeah, uh... all, all the materia prima? ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Raw material. Okay. Oh, I didn't know. Raw hey, you're right. So, we have the inbound... Inbound... How do you say that? Inbound? Inbound, right? Uh -huh. Inbound logistics. Inbound logistics. So we have purchasing. We got, I'm just reading this. Purchasing. So in that case, as you say, we have the primary materia. We can we can write that, right? It, it is an inbound logistics, right? Because we can uh, get that material. Uh, raw material, thank you. <laughs> the raw material from a supplier, right? So do you know what, what supplier it is? I mean, what company is it or something? I mean, does it have a name? Mm, no. No, I mean, no, you was just... <laughs> okay. But okay. Make, make up the name. I mean, put, put a name. <laughs> it could be like, and uh, the people in the country, maybe they kind of, or, or does maybe. it have to be, excuse me, I don't hear you. Farmers, maybe. Uh, yeah, a normal, farmers. An, uh -huh, yeah, normal people like farmers that can make the, the floor, the floor. Flower. Um. Yeah, they can produce the whip. I think it is. The wit, wit. So we can call the farmers as an inbound logistic. I mean, as a supplier, right? Yep. <laughs> Farmers to provide the raw material. Okay. Okay. The raw material. So they in the warehouse as it is in the first box. But we have, is that right? We kind of store the raw material in our warehouse. So we can <clears throat> produce maybe like hoping that it can last for a you know a time that we that we can say for example if we if I want to store that raw material for a month I would say I don't know if it could be uh, I don't I don't think it could be because of it can be perished right but I think yeah, I think that they have warehouse why right? because they produce department is finished but to the quality control department. Number four. Excuse me, uh, after design the style. After design the style, pass to the sample department to sewing. To sewing the garment. To the soul. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yes. Yes. And Some you product. buy the big pants in China too. Yes. No. No, they have a representant representative representant in El representative, Salvador. Representative. 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 Yes, oh. yes a company. They they buy for all the companies in El Salvador. 
And they is. But they Canada. are from from Germany right now. No, uh, uh, no, it's some 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 things. Yes, but the better are are made in Germany. Germany and, and Mexico. And Mexico. But yeah. normally the, the company, the big company have a representative in 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 every country and they distribute it to to the different company. A uh, question, um, Noemi. Uh, yeah. Sunray don't don't buy directly China. No, we um, buy for um, representative. Representative. Oh, oh, there, uh, there, there, uh, there is a inter intermediate. Yes. Between Sunray and China. Yes, and it's a big representative because they buy to the, for example, Biduk, Bidri, all the libraries in El Salvador, for example, Cervantes, eh, Aranda, um, I, I, La Nueva San Salvador, que ahora se llama, I don't remember, La Nueva San Salvador. Mm. I don't remember what was the, the name, but they changed. Um, okay. For, the, for resume, we are working working with a, a, a bookstore. Or bookstores, yes. Bookstore. Bookstores. Okay. And we, the first uh, step is to order shop the the, the, the the finish because after that we export the the, the government the our client our custom receive the, the government i think it's finished the, the process in in the export import de department import export uh -huh. department. import export uh -huh. okay so this is the, the step, right? Our five, six steps. One, two, three, six. In this case, if our client accept our prototype, we receive the order to to, to, to make her production about 1,000 garments for a month. And after that, we start to make her production. If the customer accepts... Is our customer accept the prototype, uh, they 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 asked for one thousand garments. Okay. It's an example. Maybe could be more. Oh, could be. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. So we we're gonna make a measure, or we're gonna choose one. What? I mean, vamos a hacer, um, vamos a elegir uno solo. Vamos a, de, a utilizar el retailer o el the wholesaler oh. o los dos. I think it will be both because it's, it's reality. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you guys ready? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the ad bond logistic, logistic, we have um, 
transport there and customer service. But it could be the transport isn't that like the distribution that you offer like when we oh. have about mimbo como the mimbo deja ajá como mimbo deja llegar como hace llegar el producto a los a los a las tiendas perdón yeah because they they're buying it right and not only to the mini stores but to supermarkets I think they they offer this transport right transportation so or um, for, the, for a retailer, the transportation is our transportation. Yours? But, yes. Okay. But, but the supermarkets yeah. is a uh, subcontratado. It's from another company or something. Yeah. Okay. So we so Bimbo kind of distribute their products and they offer their transport to mini stores, I could say. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait, I just I'm writing. <laughs> okay. Me either. Okay. How, how do you, what is that subcontratado, sub, sub guys? I don't know. What? What is that? Subcontratado. In English, it's like this. Out the uh, yeah, yeah, like this is in English, but Outsourcers. but what is that? So... For deliver uh, the product. Ah, uh, okay. So that's uh, like the supermarkets. Ah, okay. I got it. Got it now. So that's like a third party agent. Okay, good. Guys, two more minutes and we're gonna go back to the main section, okay? <laughs> okay. <it's> okay. <laughs> there you go. Only with in, in this farm, I I can take this uh, in one month, I think. I think it's very quickly. Yeah, uh, quickly. I, <laughs> I, I, I have a uh, lucky. A good, a good place is, is, yes, lucky. You are lucky, really. Yes, because they, I have a problem around one year with them because they never pay and only was $90. It's a little pain, but See, they never pay. Yes, and the, yes I have the, the, yes. the uh, a, a colleague have the problem that uh, she asked to me, uh, hey, where do you know how the ANDA pays the indemnization? You're, okay, you need to call every day to asking about. Uh, I, <laughs> they say that they... Uh, call me when they do the deposit. Yeah, no, it's not like this. Yeah. You need to call Never. because call. They, <laughs> they give you a check. Uh, two yeah. weeks after, they, she had the check. Okay. <laughs> it's terrible. I, I, like, I like to work with uh, the US and the Asamblea Legislativa. They are good clients and they pay very quickly i will become a deputy 
I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I was thinking out loud. So only to the <laughs> only to the employees they don't pay weekly because uh, many employees that finish with the last uh, uh, government they last period mm -hmm. they don't finish. They don't don't have uh, pay. They yeah. didn't get paid really. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, the people say that I don't know, but uh, but and the payment is... for them is good. It was good. Yes. There, are, there are people there that are getting more than two hundred two thousand dollars just for delivering papers, and that's it. <laughs> it's like it's like people... I think I think I think because that they don't have the they don't have, they don't pay. It's like people who work with. Exactly. It's like people who work with judges, for example. You know what is a judge? Yes. In, in all those uh, big uh, enterprises related to the government, only the people who clean, who clean there, the floor and everything, is getting more than $800 a month. <laughs> yes. Just for cleaning. Just for cleaning. Yes, I have a, oh, yes. a, a in my last yeah. job. I, I want to clean. <laughs> in my last job, I I I I I describing to my partners mm -hmm. that I I I work in in Anda, and I have a a, a a partner that they clean the 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 area in in that I I work. Mm -hmm. Only this, he take the escoba, <laughs> the broom. <laughs> The broom. the broom and mm -hmm. take the trapeador, <laughs> <laughs> the mop, <laughs> broom and mop. Okay, and they take a little piece of 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 some uh, tela, <laughs> no sé. rope, uh, uh, fabric, and clean, and clean, clean, and he he won, uh -huh. he, he won. Uh, almost nine hundred. Oh, you see, what? that's what I'm saying, man. I will be happily cleaning everything. I talk, talk, talk payment. Yeah. Every day he talk, 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 talk. Only <laughs> one or two hours cleaning. The, you, the, you see, ah, uh, oh, come yeah. on, man. Yes. And I was like, I, can, can I clean your shoes, man? <laughs> <laughs> for, for that payment, of course, man. <laughs> okay, guys. I guess we have already finished. Let's uh, handle this uh, now. How we're gonna do this by tomorrow? Uh, let's go back to the main section. I want to say something. Okay. Okay. This time is okay. See you there. Did you all guys finished with the assignment? That's why I put you in groups of five and, and some of some of you were four and three. At least one group that, that is not here yet. Give me a second. I'm gonna wait for them to, to, to join. <laughs> they haven't finished, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, uh, they are coming. Okay, guys, I guess you all have already finished what you were doing. Listen up, what are we going to do by tomorrow? Because today we run out of time, so I'm not going to have you extra time in here. Uh, you know who you were working with, okay? So by tomorrow, we're going to provide, at the beginning of the class, of course, we're going to provide a feedback about what we were doing. And then when everybody joins to the class, we are going to start with the explanation of what you did today, okay? If you require people, uh, probably a couple of minutes for you to organize uh, uh, or, or, you know, like, refresh what you did today tomorrow of course 
I will give you like a couple of minutes for that. And then you're going to explain to me what you did and what was the uh, company that you chose, right? And the process that this company uh, takes to purchase the products and deliver the product to the final consumer, okay? So we're gonna do all that by tomorrow at the beginning of the class. So Elwin, you have problems with the internet? Elwin Vladimir? Yes, teacher. I'm still having problem with that, but I don't know if my uh, signal is weak or my phone is getting bad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, uh, okay, I hope you don't have that much problems by tomorrow, okay? Uh, yeah, I think you can participate with the with the team that you were in. That it was uh, that it was composed by Christian, Carla, Carla, and, and the other Elwin. other Elwin. Exactly. So you can give a hand to them by tomorrow, okay? By giving your opinions about what they are going to talk. Okay. About, okay? Very good, guys. So I am just going to pass the attendance list, and that's gonna be everything that we're gonna be doing, guys because it's, it's, it's late. Let's see, Carmen Eugenia, all right, so just as a listener, Cristian Eduardo. I don't know why you say Eduardo, I'm Cristian Eduardo. Who is Cristian Eduardo? Uh, yeah. They have changed your name and give me one second. You are okay. Alejandro, right? Yes. Okay, give me one. <laughs> <laughs> there is a mistake in here, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, Christian Alejandro now. <laughs> yeah, present. Hey, Hugo. Okay, give me a second. Daniel Arquímedes. Present. Okay, good. Daisy Maricela. Present. All right, good. Edwin Alexander. Present. Okay, good. Edwin Vladimir. Present. Good, Estela Mabel. Present. Nice, Fatima Adriana. Fatima last. Present. Okay, good. Yeah. Fatima Lourdes. Uh, okay, I guess she's busy working. Jaime Antonio. Okay, Jaime hasn't got it connected lately. Eduardo Jose. Present. Okay, good. Eduardo, since uh, in the chain is, is like with these people that hasn't shown up in here. Uh, give me one second. We're going to have the 10 minutes feedback tonight. Happy here. You. Okay. What is that? What is that, Fatima? <laughs> give me a second. What did I do? I'm in the third point, Ginger. Okay. There you go. Uh, let me see. Carla Lisset. Here, teacher. Okay, good. Kenya Cecilia. Yeah. Present. Okay, perfect. Uh, Manuel Antonio. I didn't find the microphone. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. There you go. Give me a second. Okay, Manuel. All right, Manuel is not here. Lorena Beatriz. Present. Okay, good. Maria Gabriela. Jesus. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Mary Raquel. Present. Okay, excellent. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, and the last one, Osbin Alexis. Present. Okay, very good. Thank you for getting connected to the class, guys. Let's remember, if you haven't finished the previous homeworks, try to make them up, okay? Try to finish them. And have a wonderful night, okay? See you tomorrow, guys. Great to see you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Nice. Hey, good night. Teacher, I have a console for you.
Yes. I create my account, mm -hmm. but uh, I can change my username. So it's Christian with double with double I, Ale, Christian Ale. Give me a second. If, I don't know if it's gonna be a problem with that or or not. Give me a second. That's what I want to make sure of. Give me a second. I need to check. I need to check how uh, do you appear here. Yes. Mi usuario sale como Cristian Alejand Cristian Ale, pero mi nombre como tal está escrito bien, solo que el usuario lo escribí. Pensé que no iba a salir. <laughs> Ajá, entonces yo puse Cristian Ale. You mean this one? Here? Like this? Yeah. This, okay, that. no, no problem. You, you are here. Yeah. Ah, oh, ok. Con doble I. <laughs> sí. sí, o okay. sea, usualmente es lo que utilizo siempre para los usuarios, pero ah. no pensé que iba a salir ahí. Se lo vi en la tabla y por eso le preguntaba. Ajá. No, pero no, no, hay, no hay ningún problema. Sí, así se logra identificar, no se preocupe. Right. Ah, okay. Sí. Okay. And here Very I have it. Sí, ahí para, para nada, nada más para efectos ahí ya, ya sé que es usted and everything. And you got 96%, okay, of it. Okay. Okay, no problem with that. Thank you. All right. See you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, so the person that I was supposed to be here with, uh, he just left. Apparently, he has his baby sick, so that's why he's just not... Uh, you know, getting connected uh, right after the class or for a long time. So uh, tonight it was a very productive class in which we were talking about inbound logistics and outbound logistics. All right. And uh, we were talking about these two uh, forms of logistics and we were saying that an inbound logistics concerns to the relationship that has between uh, a company and the supplier, right? The one who provides the product, okay? So that's uh, basically the relationship that is built when, they're make, when they make, you know, businesses. And the outbound logistics, it refers to how these companies or the company deals with the product to the final consumer or the customer in this case how this product is distributed uh, and easily get uh, or gotten in this case by the final consumer so we were also discussing a vocabulary uh, related of course to logistics in which we were uh, mentioning the word logistics of the first one, okay? And uh, uh, students were, you know, like working on this, uh, giving a definition about each of these uh, concepts. We had logistics, what is supplies, procurement, distribution. We were talking about the maintenance, what maintaining is, inventory management, and at the end, supply chain. So we were discussing about all those aspects, you know, all those uh, ways of, uh, um, I'm gonna say this, like sources that a, all that composed logistics has in order to, you know, deliver and transport products to the right place, right? To the right places in, in warehouses, all right? so. By tomorrow, we will continue with this because the students did not finish a acti an activity. So they are going to finish an activity by tomorrow related to these aspects that we have just mentioned, right? So let's see you next.